Welcome to today. We have a hedge planting taking place today and we've got volunteer tree wardens and it's part of, of the restoration of this hedge landscape. It's about joining up the gaps between the countryside. And so what we're going to show you is not only the hedge, but how to plant it. And that's what we're going to go and do now. So hi Mike, tell me about what, what you're planting and why. Well yes, we do have a, a, a particular species mix uh, planted here. And what we've come up with is a mix of the good old standard uh, hawthorn, okay. but mixed amongst that are what we call a specimen trees, yep. uh, oak, hazel, field maple Fantastic. and hornbeam. And then every 20 metres we then plant a larger heritage uh, oak tree. Often when you uh, choose bare-rooted trees or buy bare-rooted trees, they will come in bags like this, often white bags, and you can keep trees like this in, in a bag for, a, for about a week, but they do even better if there's a bit of soil in the bottom of the bag. The roots are still damp and that's exactly what you want because you don't want the roots to dry out before planting. Here we will be using what's called slot planting. So what you do is you take your spade and you push it in to about one spade deep and there's a point called the collar which is where the roots come off and what you have to do is plant this tree with everything below that root collar in the ground. So we've got to get this bit in the ground and you've got your slot prepared. You gently feed it down into the ground and you aim to get the root collar that we talked about flush with the surface. Then when it's there, compress all the soil to close up the hole. This is called healing it in to make sure that that plant is, is firmly in the ground. So the next part of the process is to put a shelter on. So these are designed uh, to protect from rabbits and hares, which is the greatest risk here. In the shelter are three holes, click like so, just to make sure that the, uh, the guard will be secure. And then the guard is secured over the tree by just gently feeding it through and getting it on. We take the cane and then feed it down through the holes to make sure that the, cane, the guard will remain in place. We then knock it down to ensure that it's firmly secured in the ground and won't move during the winter. This time we're digging a bigger hole and the reason we're digging a bigger hole is that the, the tree has a much bigger set of roots. Again it's this important point is the root collar, it's where the roots flare off the stem so what you want to have is a hole that's big enough to take that and this is perfect so that that's flush with the surface um, and when it's in as this one is uh, you can then backfill the hole. And then your tree is now nicely planted so we then need some mulch around this one. It's important that you get the mulch to the right depth so you want something about two or three inches deep and that is now beautifully mulched. So at the end of our hedgerow planting day, we thought you ought to see what we're trying to create. A beautiful hedgerow like this one here, and magnificent oak trees. And if we get this right, and these trees survive as they should if you plant them properly, that's what you get. A truly magnificent oak tree in a lovely hedge. <laughs>